What's up, YugiTube? It's me, your boy Squiddy, again with another video. And um, today I wanted to quickly talk about uh, some cheap cards that are out there. Uh, for the most part, I was scouring through the card pool like really quickly, and I noticed that all the good hand traps and like every good card, every like meta relevant, even if it was like side deck, like even there can only be one, is literally like a super rare in this or higher. And I think um, they did that obviously for a reason. They hired some guy to. Uh, just look at the card pool and make all the cards that were meta relevant into high rarity. Like, look at this, even Golden Match is super rare, which is crazy. But luckily, I was just looking through the card pool and I think they missed a lot. Either that or they're really nice because some of these cards that are decently good are just like rare or below, which is basically like easily obtainable by anyone. So, um, for starters, Treasure Tribute, this is like an actually really good card in today's meta, really, because it destroys all the monsters on the field and it's a trap card, so you can use it to disrupt your opponent. It's only a rare trap. Uh, another thing that's in the similar vein is Needle Ceiling. This card's similar to Torrential, but it doesn't rely on your opponent summoning a monster. It's just when there are four or more monsters on the field, destroy all face-up monsters, which is super good. Also a trap, only a rare. Um, other thing is Chalice. This one was really surprising to me because this is actually a really good card that's still super meta relevant in today's meta game. And a lot of decks are actually main deck in three cards because it's a quick play effect negation. So you can use it on the turn that you draw it. And it's almost, sometimes it's better than infinite impermanence because infinite impermanence requires you to have no, nothing on the board. So technically in a grind game state, you can draw this card and activate it. Or you could do plays beforehand to sort of bait your opponent's uh, negation out, then chain chalice. Whereas Imperm, you have to do it right away at the start of your turn when you have no cards on the board. So this card being rare, I think you definitely snap pick three of. Um, and then there's some other budget options. Uh, you know, if you don't have Imper, for example, Fogblade is actually only a rare. This card is decent. Activate by targeting one effect monster in the field. Negate that face-up monster's effects. That monster cannot attack. Also, monsters cannot target that face-up monster for attack. So something you can do is you can actually Fogblade your own monster, and then your opponent cannot attack that monster. So it's useful, like, sometimes you can save yourself. As long as this uh, is attached to your monster, they literally cannot attack it, nor can they attack directly until they get rid of Fogblade or the monster that it's attached to. Um, I guess also Phoenix Chain is somewhat budget as well. It's also only a rare. Uh, I would say like strictly worse than Fogblade just because it doesn't have that little neat trick where you can, you know, protect your own monster and protect your life points by doing so. Um, other traps, I think Solemn Scolding. I know the other Solemns are like ultra and super rare, uh, warning and uh, strike, but you know, Scolding is also a decent card. If you're playing like a trap deck, you can uh, save this until it's the last card in your back row and you can uh, flip 3000, basically Solemn Warning or Solemn Judgment rather. Other thing is um, Book of Moon. Actually, this card I was surprised as well because it's only rare. This card is actually really, really good. Uh, you know, you can target a monster on the field, change that target phase on the defense position. So what you can do is you can block up attacks, you can prevent your opponent from synchro summoning, XYZ summoning, link summoning, and they can't use face downs. Uh, also, another thing is you can push through your own effects with this. So for example, if I have a monster like a tour guide and I'm summoning and using effect, my opponent chains effect failure, I can actually chain Book of Moon to flip that face down. Because the target's gone, the way the chain resolves, I still get my effect. Um, another thing is people don't realize that face down monsters cannot be negated. So for example, if I have a tri brigade monster on the field and it's already been effect failured, I can still attempt to activate the effect and then chain Book of Moon. And then even though the monster is already negated, if it flips face down, you still get the effect because by game mechanics, face down monsters cannot be uh, negated, which is super weird. So also if you activate uh, effect, your opponent chains failure, you chain Book and they chain another failure, you still get your effect because your monster is face down. Um, and then the last thing I found was a Vashuda, um, the 10 eight engine, like Vashuda is only a rare. Uh, this card is if you effect, control no effect monster, special summon from your hand, and then you can, what you can do is you link off into Monk. And then the other effect is when you control a non-effect monster, which Monk is, you can target one card your opponent controls, return it to the hand by banishing this card. So it's basically a one for, it's a plus one. You get to remove that monster or a trap or whatever that's on board and you get a free Monk on the field that you can link climb into. So yeah, just some budget options there. If you guys know any other ones, let me know in the comments because I'm really curious. I haven't really scoured the card pool deep enough, but there are actually some really good budget options. I think if they ever implement like a pop format, uh, there are actually enough good cards that it could be a thing.